when you look at this image, there are lots of splodges all over the place. What made you look at that one in particular? We have been seeing this object already in the very early data we obtained nearly two years ago. And I think the surprising thing was that it's actually very bright. And so our initial reaction was that, well, it cannot be that distant because um, it's too bright. And so we took better data, and in particular, we also took spectroscopy. And we could clearly see that, no, that galaxy, that this yellow blob here, is really um, this most distant galaxy that we have uh, ever seen. For many years, we've been taught that the universe began with the Big Bang, marking the start of everything we know. But what if there's more to the story? Dr. Roger Penrose, a Nobel Prize winning scientist, and others propose that the Big Bang was not the beginning, but just one chapter in a much larger cosmic story. Recent studies even suggest the existence of a mirror universe beyond the Big Bang. One theory posits that an anti-universe running backward in time could potentially explain dark matter and cosmic inflation. While there isn't enough evidence yet to fully support this idea, Penrose speculates that remnants from black holes in the previous universe may still be visible in the microwave background radiation of our own universe, suggesting the existence of a universe before ours. For centuries, this concept was purely philosophical. However, recent discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope are providing substantial scientific evidence for this idea, bringing it into the forefront of astrophysical research. One such discovery in particular has raised eyebrows. The telescope's findings have revealed signs of a universe that could be fundamentally different from what we once imagined. Among these discoveries is a geometry called hyperbolic geometry, which hints at the idea of infinity. Some experts suggest that this could be crucial for understanding space-time. Lambda CDM of cold dark matter and the dark energy that everybody considers a standard. According to that model, some of these, these objects that are seen from the early universe are too massive. They'd have too many stars in them. It doesn't have make time to make to become that massive. It, well, that all be, of the right? all of the ordinary matter of the universe would have had to go into these things, and that just doesn't mm -hmm. make sense. You don't have enough ordinary matter to produce that many stars. Mm -hmm. They compare the Big Bang to an Escher-like boundary, seemingly finite, but potentially extending beyond our current understanding of space-time. This opens up exciting new possibilities for our understanding of the universe and its origins. The universe we can observe from Earth is called the observable universe, which spans approximately 93 billion light years across. However, this is just a small fraction of the entire universe. There are countless more galaxies and stars beyond this observable region, and scientists believe the true size of the universe might be infinite. The limit to what we can observe is simply due to the fact that light from beyond this boundary hasn't had enough time to reach us yet. What's even more fascinating is that the observable universe isn't the same for everyone. If an alien civilization in another galaxy were to look out into the universe, they'd see a completely different version of the observable universe from their perspective. This highlights how our view of the cosmos is dependent on our location. Another intriguing aspect of the universe is that when we peer into deep space, we're also looking back in time. The light from distant stars and galaxies has taken billions of years to reach us, so when we observe these objects, we're actually seeing them as they were in the distant past. While our current theories about the universe work well in explaining the local cosmos, they struggle to explain phenomena that occurred closer to the dark ages of the universe. When we look further back in time, we encounter a mystery. There seems to be a gap in our understanding. For instance, even though we can see galaxies from only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, some of these early galaxies already contain supermassive black holes at their centers. This is a major puzzle because the timeline between the Big Bang and the formation of these first galaxies is incredibly short, making it difficult to explain how such massive objects could form so quickly. 
Recently, scientists have discovered giant black holes at the centers of early galaxies, only a few million years after the Big Bang. This finding was surprising because it challenges our understanding of how black holes could have grown so rapidly in such a short period of time. The existence of these early supermassive black holes remains one of the most perplexing mysteries in modern cosmology. A recent discovery by a team of astronomers has unveiled a low-mass, supermassive black hole at the center of a galaxy, which is consuming matter at a rate 40 times higher than previously theorized limits. This discovery also reveals that these early black holes are growing with an astonishing efficiency of 80 to 100 percent, something that was once thought to be possible only in theory. Sophie Kudmani, an astrophysicist at the University of Cambridge, provided a compelling explanation regarding the origin of these early black holes. Kudmani suggested that if black holes grew rapidly and efficiently in the early universe, small seed black holes could have had enough time to grow into the giant black holes that we see today. This theory supports the idea that primordial black holes, which might have existed even before the Big Bang, could be responsible for the formation of these early cosmic giants. This discovery not only challenges our current understanding of black hole formation, but also hints at the possibility that the universe might have existed before the Big Bang. In line with this theory, the James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered some unusual findings in the early universe. For years, astronomers have been discovering strange galaxies from just a few billion years after the Big Bang. And now, the Webb Telescope is revealing massive black holes that contradict current models of cosmic evolution. The existence of these supermassive black holes so early in the universe defies our understanding of how such objects could have formed so quickly. What's even more surprising is the discovery of a galaxy that is far more massive and structurally complex than our own Milky Way, but it formed within the first billion years after the Big Bang. This discovery is part of a recent finding of three ultramassive galaxies, which have raised eyebrows because scientific models suggest that the early universe should have produced galaxies slowly and inefficiently. These galaxies, referred to as red monsters due to their high dust content, appear red in images from the Webb telescope. Stein Voigts, an astronomer at the University of Bath, described these red monsters as puzzling as they seem to have bypassed many of the evolutionary hurdles that most scientific models predict for early galaxies. The discovery of the Rebel 25 galaxy, which existed when the universe was just 700 million years old, and yet shares striking similarities with the Milky Way, adds to the growing body of evidence that cosmologists have a lot of work ahead of them to understand the evolution of galaxies. This discovery challenges our current theories of galaxy formation and evolution, suggesting that either these early galaxies existed before the Big Bang or something extraordinary happened shortly after the Big Bang that dramatically accelerated galaxy evolution. Roger Penrose's theory of an endless cycle of creation and destruction in the universe offers a potential explanation. According to Penrose, each universe ends in a state of quietude, where black holes slowly disappear over vast periods of time. The energy left behind by these dying universes could trigger the Big Bang of a new universe, with remnants of the previous universe influencing the birth of the next one. This concept hints that our universe could just be the latest in a long series of universes, challenging our conventional understanding of time and space. The discovery of massive black holes, particularly those forming so early in the universe, further complicates our understanding. Scientists now suspect that these black holes may have originated from primordial black holes, black holes that could have existed even before the Big Bang. This is a revolutionary idea because the Big Bang is traditionally seen as the beginning of time and space 
and the existence of primordial black holes raises questions about what occurred in the universe's history that we don't yet fully understand. These findings force us to reconsider the origins and nature of the universe, suggesting that there may be far more complexity and mystery in the cosmos than we currently realize. The implications of this research could radically change our understanding of the cosmos and the laws that govern it.